Welcome to the Celebrate Brave podcast, a podcast for women in and around the tech industry. Every week, we dive into the conversations, frameworks, and best practices to help you stress less, work less, and earn a lot more. My name is Nicole Church Steinbach, your host and the international bravery coach for women in tech. Let's go. Hey there, welcome back. Today, we're continuing the deep dive through the Build Your Brave framework. Now, the Build Your Brave framework has three parts, clarity, momentum, and accountability. Over the course of season three, we're going through all of them. Earlier, I've already gone through clarity, so if you missed those episodes, head on back there. And today, I'm going deeper into momentum. So the sentence for momentum is I spend just as much time feeling my way to success as I do working towards it. And the element we're going to talk about today is the evaluation framework. You know, there's this famous quote, and it's attributed to Nelson Mandela, and that quote is, I never lose. I either win or learn. The evaluation framework, what I'm going to share with you today, this is how you can walk in Nelson Mandela's footprints for this one small part, which is you either win or you learn. So, What is the problem that would lead you to utilizing the evaluation framework? There's two core problems. Number one, you question if you are actually doing a good job. Number two, you want to learn, you want to grow, and you're either inconsistent or you're not seeing the results or the change that you want. That's when the evaluation framework comes in really, really well. There's a couple of things about the evaluation framework. The first thing is that it is very repetitive. So if you really want to either win or learn, you're going to use this repetitively. The second part is that it's very impactful when you utilize it for a specific experience and you populate it with specific details. So let me give you an example. What this framework isn't super helpful for is, for example, hmm, my relationship with my boss. And then you put inside of it things like one-on-one meeting deadlines, conversation, level of intimacy, level of trust. That is not what we're talking about here. Okay. We're talking about a specific situation. For example, discussing my performance with my boss. And then you really go specifically into statements you made, statements he made, approaches that were done, meetings that were held, the strategy, the impact, the questions, etc. Really specific. So how do you actually use the evaluation framework? You're going to grab one piece of paper and create three columns. At the top of the first column, you're going to write what worked well. In the second column, you're going to write what didn't work? And in the third column at the top, what to do differently. Now, you are going to start with what worked well. And the reason is because you're training your brain to be specific. You're training your brain to notice what is working so that you can elevate that, so that you can strengthen that, So that you don't get lost in the, oh, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. You want to stay in motivation. You want to stay focused on where 
you're going. You also want to have a whole list of the things you're not going to change. Something I frequently see with my clients is something isn't working or it isn't working the way they want to. They're not actually, you know, they're unsure if they're doing a good job or they're not getting the results they want. And they're constantly starting over from scratch. That is a waste of time. It's a waste of energy and it confuses everyone around you. You need to continue to do the things that are working and learn from the rest. So always, always, always start with what worked well. And in this, of course, you want to be specific. So again, if the context is working with my boss for my promotion, what worked well, I specifically said, I want to talk to you about my promotion. I came very prepared. What else worked well? I spent more time listening to his response than listening to what I want to hear. Those would be examples. You could write down specifically what your boss said. You know, for example, she could say, "Mm, I don't have the budget until Q2, right? I got a specific from her, budget in Q2. The second column, what didn't work, this is the one that nobody seems to have a problem with. We are so good at criticizing ourselves. But again, be really specific. So for example, it could be in here, you know, what didn't work. My boss said quarter two and I didn't ask which year. Or I didn't really understand the answer that I got and I didn't ask follow-up questions. Or I accepted a flob off. Or I got acceptance for my promotion, but I didn't talk about the money. All those things of what didn't work. And then the third column, and this is where it really comes down to I never lose, I either win or learn, is what will you do differently? So for example, do differently. I'll ask about the money. If my boss agrees to the promotion, I'll ask about the money. Or I will say when I state I want to talk to you about my promotion, I'll state next time I want to talk to you about my promotion and the corresponding raise. I will immediately schedule the follow-up conversation to make sure we don't lose momentum. Again, very specific. So you repeat this, you repeat this, you repeat this. I do this at least twice a week, at least. And if I'm working on something new, like, for example, my podcast, I do this after every podcast recording session. What worked, what didn't work, and what I'll do differently. The result of doing this, the outcome, is that you will either win You'll know where you stand. You'll have a good review of where you're going. You'll see the results you actually want or you'll learn. And here's the bonus. (laughs) You'll actually do both. So homework. I promised homework for each of these elements. Utilize this framework twice in the coming week. Do this twice. The first one is use the evaluation framework for a positive situation, a time you won when it went really well, an awesome presentation, a promotion you landed, a new job, a powerful interview, a great mentoring session, a time you took holiday, and really evaluate it. What went well? What didn't? And what do you do differently? And then the second time, choose something that you're working on right now or that went badly. Remember, a specific situation and specific details inside of the evaluation framework. This is how you win and learn. Till next time, brave it up. Hey, before you go, our fellow women in tech really need these insights. So do them a favor, pop on over and leave a rating and a review on your favorite podcast platform. Help them find the Celebrate Brave podcast. All right. Thanks a bunch. Until next time, brave it up.